Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I want to make fun belly bands in the shape of a wristwatch. Um, you join them onto your page at the top and the bottom and you can slide journal cards or ephemera or whatever you want in through the back and it keeps them in place and I just thought in the shape of a wristwatch it's really quite fun. Um, yeah. So let's make one together. I'll just put them to the other side. And so we'll need some pattern paper for the strap. Um, this was a scrap piece of six by six paper. So I've had to put a little join in this one, but it will get hidden by the watch face, which is just two circles, one slightly bigger than the other. I've used my die cuts, a uh, die, uh, cutters but you can use draw around a circle or whatever if you don't have one. I also had these from um, some scrapbooking paper which are actually kind of clocks but they, you could use something like this if you've got some pattern or some digis that are clocks or watches, watch faces. Um, yeah so we need a piece of black to just mount this on and I think it just makes it stand out a little bit and so we'll just put a couple of pencil notches there and cut the, the back for this watch strap Wanted to fit on this page, so that's us. And this is our decorated piece. Of course, you could have all sorts of collaged pieces. Use up your scraps all the way up the um, the strap. Now I'm going to be stitching round the edges, or st stitching up and down either edge. Um, so I don't need to mind too much about the the gluing, just enough to hold it in place for me while I run it through the machine. So that's the strap. Now we have we don't need to work on the book anymore because we'll end up getting it all gluey. <laughs> now we do the watch face before I go to the sewing machine um, or if you don't have a sewing machine just a fine liner down uh, the sides there. So we stamp the numbers onto the watch face. We'll just glue it on the back first to its little black mount. And obviously if you don't fancy the black then any colour or whatever you whatever you fancy. So to stamp the numbers I'm going to be using this. It's a Tim Holtz Cling Foam Stamps um, lower type. I did try, wait and I'll show you, I did try some numbers that were wood mounted but it, it just wasn't working for me. I was trying smaller numbers which are underneath these big numbers and then doing wood mounted wasn't really working because I couldn't see exactly where I was stamping so that didn't work <laughs> right so we need whoops it's trying to escape we need our one and our two first So we need it that way round. I'm just going to use the lines on the mount to line up. There we are. And I'm going to use my Versafine Onyx Black. There will be no surprises there. And up 
to the top as much centered as we can make it. Give it a nice squish. These are nice bold numbers and, and the letters. Right, so we need the three. Maybe I'm going to do the six next. We will need the nine. There we are. Because if I can do the six next, then that means I know where to fit in my three and my nine. to get too much ink on my fingers and failing miserably. There we are. It's close enough. Nothing's ever going to be really properly lined up. Right, so... Now, we want to think about a crazy arrow. I do have these which came in a pack of clocks oh, a long, long time ago. Um, the little kind of plasticky uh, clock arrows, but I quite fancy the, the craziness of these little wood chip, um, like wood chip, I suppose, cardboard thick card um, little arrows and I thought maybe we could just use a similar one that I used before but have it going the other way um, I'm just going to use my black sharpie a little bit. There we are. There. Who knows what time it is? <laughs> it's like, hmm, it's somewhere between three o'clock and six o'clock. <laughs> I like that. It just adds a little bit of whimsy, doesn't it, to the clock. It's only got one arm and it's a little bit, can't decide, am I going there or am I going down there? <laughs> so the other bits that we need to add that I've added is some holes down here and a little brad up there to sort of pretend that it's a there's holes in the watch strap and a little brad as a little closure, like a little pretend closure. But before I do that, I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm just going to do a little running stitch down the either side. Right, there we are. That's it stitched um, up either side. It looks a little bit more like a strap now. And we will put that in the centre. Yep. So we can just... Give this a, a little line of glue. Yep, that's fine. 
and let's add a little brad to the top i've got a choice of a little shiny one and a little plain black one i think we'll maybe go for the shiny one so we'll carefully get a poke a hole in the center there And I put three legs. There we are. And for the bottom, we'll just use a circle punch, a hole punch, circle hole, <laughs> and just roughly about the middle. It went flying. And maybe we'll do three, if my wrist is strong enough for three. Yeah. Perfect. Let's move all the bits out the way so that we can have a look-see. Oh, I think that's pretty cool. And I've got two other ones for different journals. Yeah, I'm liking them. They're a bit of fun, aren't they? <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm going to uh, put that one there for sure. But I want to get my photographs taken first, so I'll do that when I've said goodbye so if you've enjoyed the video a thumbs up would be great and I'll um, see you next time bye for now